The Google Play Store is the default and the most trusted source for downloading apps on your Android smartphone. But what happens when it stops working and you are not able to download the latest app that you want to install on your Android smartphone? It can be quite something. Every day a few Android users have been complaining about the download pending error that they see while trying to download their favorite apps right from the Play Store. That happens when you initiate a download and under my apps and games you see this error with an option to cancel the download but it just doesn't complete. There can be not one but many reasons behind this and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. Hi guys my name is Ashish you are watching Guiding Tech and in this video we will be talking about the best solutions that can help you solve this problem. Let's get started. Now the very first thing you need to do is simply restart your phone. You might be surprised to know how many problems a simple restart could solve and this can be one of them for you. However, if things are not so simple, the first thing you need to check if there are any other pending downloads. The Play Store downloads and installs the latest version of apps on your device automatically when you put it on charge. However, it might be possible that the app you are trying to download is in a queue and hence you see the download pending error. Now to counter that, open up the Play Store, tap on the menu icon and select My Apps and Games. To cancel downloading an app, just tap on the X button or tap the stop button to cancel all the download at once and then go ahead and start that particular app download. Yes, it can work and it might be one of the simplest solution to start with. Now moving on, the next thing you can do is check if your Wi-Fi or your data connection is working seamlessly. It may happen even in this day and age. Yes, your Wi-Fi might not be working as intended or is terribly slow due to some error. See if toggling the Wi-Fi button helps or you might download the app using your mobile data plan. There are times when the problem is caused by the DNS server that you are using and therefore the switching might work. Now on a horrible day, it might also happen that the mobile data plan is not working or might be too slow to download the particular app that you wish to install. In this case, connect to a different Wi-Fi network or ask your friend to start his or her mobile hotspot. I would also suggest you toggle the data plan off or just try to toggle between the airplane mode. Yes, sometimes airplane mode do restore balance in the universe. The third thing that you can do is disable a VPN connection if you're using one. People who are concerned about their privacy may be using a VPN. Now I mainly use the app to secure my privacy. Now a recent update to the VPN might have broken something in that case. It's a good idea to try and disable that particular VPN connection just while you're downloading or updating that particular app. See if that fixes the issue and then you're good to go. Now the next trick might work for most of the users out there and that's resetting the Play Store app entirely. The app might be misbehaving due to some leftover data or cache memory and to clear the old data you just need to go on to the phone's setting then tap on the apps and then go ahead and find the Google Play Store. Once there I would recommend you to first force stop the app and then tap on clear data to clear everything in the cache or the leftover memory. You might be asked to log into the Google account once again when you open the Play Store and all you need to do is just log in and see if it helps to download that particular app that's stuck. However, if this doesn't work, repeat the same process but this time go for the Google Play services instead of the Google Play Store and then clear its data. However, if it's still not working, you might try resetting the app preferences. Now. Let me tell you, it can wreak havoc on your phone so I would recommend you to do it only if other methods are not working. Now there is an option to reset app preferences hidden deep inside app settings. This option will reset all the app preferences and settings default or third party and you will have to set it up for all your apps over again. Now if you want to go ahead with this option, all you need to do is head over to settings, tap on the app section and then open up the menu which says reset app preferences. I would suggest you to restart your phone and then try downloading the app from the Play Store. However, if this also doesn't work for you, check for the download manager under the apps section. Now it's a different app that helps you to download apps from the Play Store and all you need to do is check if that particular app is disabled by any chance. 
Now if it is disabled, all you need to do is tap on the enable button and then restart your phone. And finally, if none of the other things work for you, the last thing that you can do is try and add one more Google account. It may be a setting or the permission in the older account coming in the way. And to make sure that it is not the reason, log out of your primary Google account and try downloading the app using a different Google account. You can create a new one altogether. And if the download works, you'll have to check your older account or you can just use both the accounts on the same Android device. To do so, go to settings, tap on sync or account and then select Google under there. So guys, I hope that these steps might solve the problem and you would be able to download apps from the Play Store directly. However, if it still doesn't work, I would suggest you to reset the phone entirely, but make sure that you take the data backup of the most important things that you have on your phone first. And just make sure that this is the last resort. Like if anything is not working, then only I would suggest you to go ahead and reset your phone, but only if you want to. And if you do like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do hit the subscribe button right now. So guys, this was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.